Hey, good morning. Uh, today we're taking a look at 1 Kings 15, and we keep going through uh, some of the kings of uh, uh, Judah and kings of Israel, and we see how long that they've reigned and, and how long they didn't reign for some of them, and, and, and how they died and stuff like that. And, uh, but what I, what I want to pick up on is, is um, you look at King Asa of who reigns in Judah. And he is, um, of course, descend, descendant of David. Um, it says in verse 10 that he reigned 41 years. Verse 11, it says, Asa did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, as did his father. You see, some of these other kings, they didn't do what was right in the eyes of the Lord, and they didn't last very long, although some of them did, but they didn't last very long. And, you know, if we follow the Lord's statues, we're, we tend to live a little bit longer. Now, there's no guarantee, uh, but we tend to live a little bit longer. Um, but what I really want to get into is down here in verse 14, it says, But the high places were not removed. And, and you know, what's, what's that, what that is talking about is, is, you know, he cut, Asa went ahead and cut down some, some, some of the odd statues and stuff like that, some of the statues to other gods. And, uh, but there were some real high places that, some, some real, uh, let's just, some, let's call them statues, some real things just lifted up that he didn't didn't tear down some of the places high on top of the mountains that he didn't lift down you know i remember traveling in bulgaria and most of the municipalities over there if you look high on the mountain you'll see a big cross up there you know they, they are very um uh, um uh, uh they are a christian nation but it's orthodox um you know a, a little uh different than traditional christianity but they're they're orthodox and they have crosses all up on the high places and you know where everybody can see it everybody can see it and for uh, uh asa here he doesn't cut cut down those things that are up in high places where everybody can see him so it, he leaves them up there and and you know he still serves god with all his heart uh, but he doesn't he doesn't get he doesn't finish the job and you know, I look at that and, and, you know, for our lives and, you know, there are, there are things that we lift up in our lives that God needs to tear down sometimes and we don't let him. We don't let him to get to the deep places. We don't let him to get to those places where we have erected idols that we don't let him touch because we're afraid of letting go of them or we don't know what we're going to do if they're gone or, or, you know, for many reasons, we don't let God touch them, but we need to, we need to, we, you know, we need to, to allow God to get to the deep places. We need to allow God to get to those places that we don't let anybody else get to. That's how you sell out completely to God is to allow him to, to finish his work in you and change you completely on the inside. Change those places in your heart. Those secret things that nobody else knows about. Allow God to change you. Allow God into those places. And watch him tear down those huge idols. You know, we, we erect these things and they keep us from our full potential. And I believe Asa was kept from his full potential. Because he would not tear down the high things. And it's the same for us. To reach our full potential in Christ, we need to allow him full access to every deep, dark, dirty thing that's within us. Every idol that we've lifted up that we don't let him touch. We need to let him in. In Jesus' name. Have a super day, guys. I love you all.